Hello and welcome to Brawl Duel. This time we have two mods for you. The first one tries to make things a little more convenient and probably a little more immersive too. The second is a visual overhaul for certain alteration spells. Convenient Bridges is a mod that adds just that, useful bridges across the world of Skyrim. We've covered some similar mods to this, specifically the Immersive Fallen Trees mod. Both mods have similar goals, but go about it in different ways. As of making this video, the mod adds 8 new bridges to the game, most of which can be found in the south of the province. What sets this apart from just the standard bridge mod is that the bridges aren't just identical copies of each other, but instead each one is crafted so it's more suitable and immersive for its location. So while a couple of bridges built by the Empire or other cities, they still come with little touches that make them unique. Whether it's overgrown mossy areas, or a piece of rubble, or even a half collapsed bridge. The rest of the bridges give off a very makeshift feel, almost as if they were made by a passing adventurer or group of bandits. The locations are mostly chosen for convenience, so the author chose areas where he found he had to resort to swimming to get across. Given Lake Illinathri is one of the bigger water sources, there's a few new bridges connecting each side, but only at the neck or in other short areas of water. Another important feature is that the bridges have all been nav meshed, even the makeshift ones. So followers, creatures and pretty much all NPCs will now use the bridge instead of just standing there or swimming across. Overall this makes for a great alternative to the immersive Fallen Trees mod. You can even use both together, although some of them are a little close. But if you don't like a single new bridge, then you can easily just click on it and then use the disable command to completely remove it from your save file forever. The second mod for today's spotlight is called True Alteration Armor Visuals. By looking into the data files, we can see that Bethesda originally intended for the armor buffs to come with fitting visual effects. For whatever reason, whether creatively or because of a lack of time, these resources were left unused. Well this mod unlocks those resources and applies them to the spells, similar to some of the footstep mods we saw, where Bethesda originally intended for more diverse sound effects, but then decided to take them out. There's now unique effects for each flesh ability, all the way from Oak to Dragon Flesh. Each one comes with fitting textures and colours that imitate the appropriate object. The visuals are definitely going to come down to personal preference, but having the extra choice available is always nice. This also opens up the possibility for modders to create replacers, maybe offering completely different looks or just higher res alternatives. Dragonflesh is now particularly unique in that the default effect is animated. However, the author found it to be a little overpowering, especially in third person. So he's also included an optional non-animated version that looks like this. So overall, two great little mods that offer more variety and help boost immersion a bit too. They both also just missed the hot files, so we thought it was worth sharing them in case they slip past your radar. As of right now, the Bridges mod is usable, but it might be worth waiting until it expands a little into the north, east and western regions. The alteration mod is ready to go, and if you're up for creating some new visuals, then we'd be interested in seeing them. As always, links for everything can be found down below, and thanks for watching.